everybody out here at the range it is a beautiful morning overcast skies that means it's not too hot i've been out here filming for a while i already changed my shirt once so i've got a fresh shirt and i've got a fresh firearm this is the colt king cobra 357 magnum this is a absolute beauty four and a quarter inch barrel it is a six shot revolver it is clearly unloaded and we have a beautiful wood grip with the beautiful colt logo and uh, double action it's got adjustable sights in the rear and then it's got an orange sight in the front it is i've shot it a little bit so far i tried to film this video last weekend but my camera got too hot overheated and shut off uh, this shoots 357 magnum and 38 special so uh, I've got a couple of shots under my belt already with it. I have to adjust the sights. They're not perfect yet. So uh, we'll just load it up with some 38 Special basically because 38 Special is a little bit easier to find right now and it's not quite as expensive as the 357 Magnum that you just, you just don't see much of right now. So we'll take a couple of shots. We're probably at about 20 yards and uh, we'll see how we do. Before I shoot, I must say, I will admit, when I got this, I immediately watched Dirty Harry. That should have been it. All right, hit the first one. Like I said, the sights are... Uh, The sights are not sighted in yet, I guess. Um, maybe I'll go a little closer this time, but I, uh, I honestly thought that there was gonna be a lot more recoil with the 357 Magnum. I guess that's kinda, like I have, I'm still relatively new to shooting. I didn't grow up shooting. And there are some of these like Magnum calibers that I always think are gonna be like way more powerful than I think they are. I don't know if it's just that I'm realized I'm a little bit stronger and I can handle the recoil a little bit more, but I always think that they're going to knock me back on my butt. Same thing with when I shot a uh, 45 for the first time, 308. I thought it was going to have way more power than it actually did. Maybe a 44 Magnum out of a handgun. So the the one that I have the most difficulty with is the one ounce slug out of a shotgun. That has the most recoil out of anything. So let's shoot some more. Maybe we'll go a little closer. So that was a lot better. Um, definitely sighted in a little bit better from 10 yards. So uh, we'll do, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do the six shot. John has been telling me to get a revolver for a very long time because it will slow you down. And I did a video that I don't know if it'll, it'll probably come out before this, where I did the 4570 versus a 308. So 4570 was a lever action. And it definitely slowed me down enough that I was really, really accurate because I was taking a second in between each shot. Now the revolver isn't as fast as a semi-auto, so it slows you down a little bit. Let's see if we can go six for six here. Nope. Nope. I don't even know where they're going. Oops. All right, that was not very good. I'm gonna adjust the sights a little bit more and try again, but get a load of, uh, see it's definitely sees a little powder there. Maybe we'll load up some 357 Magnum. I have a little bit of that with me. Got some more 357 Mag loaded up. We're gonna give this one more try at the six. I'm gonna go a little slower and we're gonna do just the five yards from the dope drill. See how fast we can shoot this thing.
Okay, got a little bit better. Um, just need to get used to it, I guess. So I hit two out of six once I really slowed down and they were right in the middle. So eh, we're getting better. Let's, uh, let's put a target up. We'll do the dope drill from five yards and see how fast it is. And then we can just compare it to a semi-auto nine millimeter. The battery on the camera is dying. Done a lot of filming today. We're gonna load up some 38 special. We're gonna go for about five yards. Uh, that target's got some holes in it already from when I zeroed a rifle earlier, so disregard any holes on the bottom right. But we're at about five yards. The ones with the slashes are the uh, 38 special. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad, but low. This uh, target's also a little low. Uh, not too bad though, 0.6 on the first shot, 2.4, 2.1, for 1.56 for five shots. So let's actually grab a nine millimeter and see how it compares. Okay, regular camera died. Got my phone as a backup. We're gonna shoot five shots. We're gonna see how it compares time-wise. So this is a nine millimeter. Well, look at that. The same time for five shots. A little faster with the 357, the King, the King Cobra, than my nine. The splits, about the same, but the same time. And uh, we have one, uh, two, three, four, five. The circles were the nine millimeter. So that's uh, pretty interesting. The only downside with the King Cobra is you only get six shots and that's it. The nine you can have however many it can hold. Back in the house, recap time. I actually filmed that a couple weeks ago. I haven't gotten a chance to do this part of the video, the recap. I'm gonna try and keep it short. A couple of things that I noticed and a couple of things I'm gonna call out on myself. Uh, first and foremost, this gun is unloaded. You can see that the chamber is unloaded and it is a beautiful firearm. I don't wanna have any safe queens. This will get nicked, this will get used, it will look dirty, and that's just the way I roll. Um, I'm not a collector. I wanna shoot all my stuff. I wanna use all my stuff. But uh, beautiful, beautiful gun, and it holds six, 38 Special, 357 Magnum, as I mentioned. And I was doing poorly with the shooting from far, and I adjusted the sights. I did that six in a row, and you know me, I never claim to be a phenomenal shooter. I don't even claim to be a good shooter. So I was missing a lot, and that's what you get on this channel. You get raw stuff. And I was noticing when I was editing that I was hitting the crossbar on that six. So like the bullets would hit the crossbar and go straight down. They weren't hitting the berm behind it. They were going straight down. So I was, I was just low. And that showed up also in the dope drill when I did those five shots. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, they were all pretty low. So I don't know if just the sights are still off and I need to adjust them up or I'm just low with this. And I might be low with this because it's a little bit different than a semi-auto handgun that I'm used to. So if you look at this, you can see that your fingers come up after the trigger guard and then come down. And that is, I didn't realize it until like just now that that's how that is. So when you grip it, your middle finger is almost in line with the bottom third of the trigger. You can see that it's like almost halfway up the trigger. Now, this is my SIG X5, clearly unloaded again but you can see how my middle finger is below. So I don't know if that was causing me to tilt down when I was shooting. It could be, it could just been my terrible shooting. But what was really interesting was I thought it was gonna really slow me down. And when I did that dope drill, it was the same time. So something that I'm gonna have to work on. I thought that this was really gonna slow me down like those lever actions. But I really like it. I just need to shoot it more. I'm gonna have to shoot it with a bunch of 38 special because you can't find 357 Magnum when you do. 
it's really expensive. So that's gonna do it for this review. I really like this Colt King Cobra. You should get one if you can. That's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.